Hey guys, it's Postbooks Pat and welcome back to a new video. And today I just want to talk about the best location to land on the west side of the map, the new the new locations basically. And I want to talk about it because it's the best location I've found for myself, especially on solo, because I've won about five games from this location so far, whereas I've only won one from Tilted Towers and I've only actually won, well, I almost won one from Tilted Towers and I've won one. So I've won basically one and came second in the other. So let's talk about the best location and where it is on the map. So the best location on the map is just around C2. So so it's around C3, C2, around there, in between Junk Junction and the motel. Around C2, just up there. You can just see it there, and that's where I'm going to land. So the reason I'm saying this is the best location is because you can get roughly about five chests here. Especially on solo, usually no one lands here. And I've had about five games here, and I've had maybe two people land here, three people at max land here. And you can take them out once you learn the location. The downside to this location is the sort of location you would loot from Junk Junction cutting across. Now, a lot of the chests are in different places to reach so that's the downside to it however if you're good at building and you can do jumps quite well and you know the place quite well if you come here a few times you'll get used to it you'll notice there's five buildings there's a chance of a chest spawning in every single one of these buildings so potentially you could get up to five chests which is really awesome you also get a bunch of loot dropping in them from potions and stuff and no enough every single time I have come out with full shield which really doesn't usually happen in many locations on solo especially if it's a high populated area so coming out with full shield and stuff is very useful especially getting a few slurps and stuff I always keep my shield as well so I can activate the small potions first a very key tip for everybody watching this video now I am I do want to make a video on in the future talking about potions and which ones to carry and stuff because you'll see throughout this video I debate which potions to carry there and then and here you are I already have a double potion set so I'm just going on my party just making sure there's no sound effects going on here because Commander Mace was making quite a bit of noise but I've turned that down I just wanted to focus on this game because I just come back from a certain amount of time so let's get into this and show you guys exactly what's going on in this gameplay so when looting this area it's quite an easy area to loot I got very lucky with the circle the circle did spawn on me now that's usually a 50 50 chance happening maybe a little bit less about 40 percent chance of happening because it is quite a big circle so that's not really too lucky but a good location like this really can help you out you can get a bunch of resources inside of every single house there is a lot of stuff and you can get so much stuff here you kind of just overdo yourself with loot and you can't carry it all i've noticed here there's a bunch of different stuff i do miss that jump there unfortunately i completely forgot you had to jump this was like my second time looting this location however i've won several games and this is probably the best gameplay i've got from this so i definitely think this is something that potentially you could actually win many times if you know how to do it and now this is really a tips and tricks for the new version of Fortnite. I've won a bunch of games today with the game just coming out. I think I won a total of six games today, which is quite a lot of games. And I have played probably about 30 games today. So I played quite a few. A lot of them have just been trial and error games, testing out locations and stuff. So I think it's not too bad, to be fair. And some of them I just like to mess around in, like Tilted Towers and stuff like that, trying to get some cool gameplay. I do have a really good, cool gameplay where some one of my teammates don't kill me. Like, it's not even a teammate, it's just on solo. Some guy just didn't kill me because I got the weapon first. I chose not to shoot him. And he followed me around for the entire game, and unfortunately, I only come second. However, I am still going to make a video on that, asking maybe with something like saying, why didn't he want to kick, why don't you shoot me, or something like that. Uh, why didn't he shoot me? <laughs> it would just be pretty cool. Why didn't this guy shoot me? I don't know. It was really funny. It was just one of them ones that don't really happen. So, loot in this area, like I was saying, best location. Do try it out. Try it out for yourselves. Obviously, if this video has 50,000 views plus, you may expect people to be there uh, quite commonly. So, if the video does have that, be careful and be wary about it. But, obviously, different people will be trying it out at different times. There's a bunch of different people that play Fortnite on different consoles. So, I suppose, depending on how many video views the video has, you can make that judgment for yourself. Hopefully, it doesn't get too many views so you guys can keep it up. But, if it starts to get quite a lot of views, maybe think about going to Junk Junction or places like that. So, I noticed my first enemy just in front of me. This is quite a simple kill. I just tap fire with the burst. And then I think, you know what, we'll just get this guy down. I've got a bunch of grenades on me. And, I have been carrying grenades a lot. I've noticed grenades are quite useful in this new game because because you've got the arch on the grenade which came in the last update and it really is quite useful around in the new section of the map because a lot of it is quite close quarters or kind of a lot of cover so you need grenades to push people out of cover exactly like I did then so I'm just going to speed up the gameplay here because really it's just me looting around and stuff and you can see me debating which potions to carry and when to carry certain potions now I'm just going to cover this one here about the slurp and the main potion the reason I'm saying I'm carrying the main potion open over the slurp was because I decided not to carry bandages because I didn't really want them and I also 
thought the main potion will probably come in handy if I take damage first rather than a slurp and it's instant potion rather than not instant potion. So in here I'm looting a bunch of stuff. Uh, obviously there's a bunch of stuff around here and you've got all these different locations and that and then you've got the motel just over there. I think the motel is probably one of the worst locations to loot in the new update. It hasn't got much at all and I just think it's completely pointless. Here there's not much going on. I'm just kind of chilling back. I'm just checking on my computer and stuff. This does happen every now and then in these videos. I kind of sit back and be like you know, let's just chill for a little minute, wait for the time to tick down. I do this quite a lot in my games that I actually win. I actually just pause, check something out on my computer for a minute or on my phone or something, and then continue playing the game. It's just one of the things I do, and I suppose many of you guys will do that as well, and I do advise doing that. It is quite risky, but if you get in the right situation like that, when you know most likely you've got a 60% chance of, I'm not even that, probably like at least an 80% chance of no one coming around to you, you, you've probably got a pretty good chance to be able to do that, and I do it plenty of times in my gameplays. You'll see me do it a few times, maybe throughout this gameplay and other gameplays which I've uploaded on my channel. Maybe commentaries or maybe not commentaries, just background gameplay. It's just something I like to do because it helps pass the time sometimes. Sometimes playing the game consistently and not taking mid, it's not like, a, it's like a mini break, it's like 30 seconds break, you go into something else quickly and risk it for yourself and hopefully you get a little bit of luck that no one comes up to you and kills you. Obviously you listen out, you got the volume on and stuff like that, but you're just not looking at the screen and you're just doing something else. Why it's going on here again, here's another little situation where I'm checking something out, checking something out and it's loading. It's just something I do and it's something I enjoy doing and you don't have to do it, but it's a little tip if you do want to pass the time quicker in a game of Fortnite. Keep an eye on the storm, you can just chill for a minute and it basically ticks along a lot quicker. I think it's a technique that I use as well, especially for skipping areas along and skipping areas. So I actually did that and I actually started to hear footsteps. So I thought, oh, I'll cancel what I'm doing and then go up to here. Usually I'm editing videos or like uh, editing comment or replying to comments or something like that in them sort of situations. So I find that quite interesting to do and it passes the time as well as while playing. So here's a funny thing, I actually go above. The guy didn't realize I went above, he took a while to realize and I get a nice little swift uh, kill off here. I get taken, to be honest, he did do a lot of damage to me, which is quite surprising. It doesn't really happen very often, something like that. But he did manage to do a lot of DPS to me. Uh, very, well, damage, not really DPS, but he did a lot of damage to me. And he did actually quite a bit, but unfortunately, I managed to heal up again. So that's pretty cool, and I managed to take light potions. Personally, I would always take light potions over a shield. And the reason I'm saying that is because light potions are a lot more useful in the game, and they do... Well, they take two seconds to heal up. They're the fastest consumed item to be able to heal your health. And I am kind of giving hints towards a future video. But light potions are always the ones I would always take over anything. I think the only things I would ever take would be maybe med kits. Free med kits are quite useful over light potions. I'm not too sure. It depends on the situation of the storm distance and stuff. It depends on your health currently. So light potions are my personal favorite because they can stack up to 10. And they do. And you can consume them in a very short time. So we're taking a little run through here. And there's actually a guy over here. I do decide to camp in a bush for a minute. I hit him with a sniper shot i don't want everyone to show the gameplay here because it's not really too interesting it's just me hitting him and unfortunately i didn't hit the headshot i get a few misses there and then and there are actually some bad shots going off uh, there and then in that situation so unfortunately i did miss a few shots i didn't really know where the guy went so i saw him moving loot late so i decided to build up and move over to the sniper tower now i've built up free high just because i won't take any fall damage i get a nice little jump into the sniper tower you do have to practice your jumping to be able to do moves like that you may think it sounds so like silly for me saying that but when i first played the game i used to absolutely fail jumps like that and I stopped doing them but obviously with experience I got used to them so the guys down here again I do hit him with another sniper shot I believe nice little ping on him and unfortunately my my AR just does not hit I can't really crouch you to the fence in the way that's why a lot of people don't usually build fences in the way for example if you build a one a flat piece like this now and you can edit it fences you can't actually crouch and shoot over them unless you've got a little bit of height so I don't usually do that so that's why I couldn't do it that but luckily I get a nice little bit of height and I just spray him down kind of at quite close range get a nice little spray on him and get him down so that was an easy kill a nice little smooth kill and I pick up this sniper rifle now there's a bunch of sniping in this gameplay that I don't really do very often I'm not the sort of person to go around sniping but I think in this gameplay it really does show that when I do snipe properly and I manage to get some good shots off I really can snipe in Fortnite when I do practice myself well when I do practice and I do manage to hit them I think one thing about this game that really did make it interesting for myself was that I was actually being told to hurry up because in real life I had to be somewhere. So at this situation now, I thought to myself, I've got to try and get this win as fast as possible. But 
usually I play a lot. I don't usually play that aggressive on, on solo, especially. And I think, you know, this is the one part. Let's try and be aggressive. Let's see what we can do. So, again, another little ping with a sniper. Usually I can't hit snipers at that sort of distance. That was a 158 meter sniper shot, which was pretty cool. But I don't usually hit shots like that very often. So, hitting that was very, <laughs> I was very happy about that, especially two, two sniper shots straight after each other. Usually doesn't happen for me that often. I am quite a good sniper, but I wouldn't say I'm in the top. I would say I'm just average for a sniper I don't usually hit but sometimes I do hit I've lately I've been getting a lot better it's just judging that distance and the drop on the bullet sometimes it just takes a while for me I always judge it a little bit too much I'm so used to the battlefield drop I always judge it way too much on this but I think I'm getting better and I am doing pretty well so now we're in a pretty situation where we've got quite a good advantage there are nine people left and we've pushed all the way out from the location I picked now one thing that really did help me out is obviously the location is ended on Loot Lake and where I landed which wasn't that far away at all from here really was quite lucky but why i'm saying that's the best location is because you are going to be on the edge of the map you've got to judge where the bus is coming in obviously if the bus is coming in over that location and it starts over it it's a silly location to jump out and that's just depending on the situation of the game but if your jump if your bus is coming in maybe say from moisty Meyer heading towards tilted towers that direction or maybe even heading towards flush factory along that bottom south of the coast of the map then potentially that this location that I started at could be a very good location for you because it's a long dive and it's always going to be really good and not many people are thinking about it. So here I do do a bunch of sniping but I don't go for the shot. I'm not feeling as confident at that sort of distance with that sort of height. They feel more confident hitting an AR which I did hit. I, hit, I think I hit two shots then which are pretty impressive but no headshots so only 66 damage roughly or maybe even 60. Again another sniper on that hill over there. I was surprised I missed that shot but he just moved forward and I think to myself we're really in We've got to be really careful here. We're on five kills. There are six people left now. And I'm in kind of situation where potentially I could get a nice little smooth win with this going on here. So we're, we're camping it out, see what we can wait out and see who we can like come across really. And hopefully there's not too many enemies around here. So the circle's actually closed in on us and we got a pretty lucky spot really. We built a mid hill spot, which is all right. So we've got the people on the hill the same height as us. And we've got the people down the hill lower than us but we are pretty much in the center so i have to keep checking my angles now this is actually one of my best snipes i've hit in fortnite in a long time that sort of distance was a really good snipe unfortunately you only hit the body but i did hit two ar shots so i'm assuming this guy's on extremely low health and again i don't actually get the kill on this guy someone does steal my kill there you see it at the bottom left i i smokes got the kill so I didn't manage to get that kill, but it was probably one of the best sniper shots I've hit in a while on Fortnite, a moving shot. I've hit a few on that, like 50 v, on 50v50, and I personally believe 50v50 will return. Maybe even a sniper mode. So here's just me getting some little AR shots off. Unfortunately, my AR aim was good at the start of that movement, and because he was going downhill, I was struggling to get the on it. The bullet fire and stuff it just started to struggle but then obviously with my grenade throw you've got the r i do actually hit one of these grenades and one of the grenades does quite a bit of damage so i don't actually i don't think i hit the grenade oh i might do it. it's this bit now i think i hit the grenade do i hit the grenades i can't remember <laughs> um, i don't know if i hit the grenades i do have eight grenades so let's reload my sniper and check what's going on and see what's going on around here so that guy's down there and i'm thinking with the new eight grenade arc you <laughs> you can get the balance perfect to get a perfect grenade in i don't think i actually get any damage with this grenade i think i just get the arc perfect and then sniper nearly killed me then that potentially could have been me out the game and that's when i stopped throwing grenades and gave up with that uh, because i knew it was a risky situation and i actually thought the guy was there i couldn't really work out where the guy shot me from but thank thank you i was moving because i could have potentially been out the game then he actually decided to push me with grenades i, I think i should throw a few grenades back to pressure him a little bit and i actually get shotgun from behind and in front at the same time i think so i know two guys are trying to push me here i do what i do is i build a one by one hide inside of it consume two potions metal was probably the worst pick for this because i think doing metal on this was just a risky move here i actually try and whack some spikes on to try and get him with a spike trap and he does bail straight away as soon as i whack the spikes on sometimes that does work and it's worked for me in the time and he runs into the other enemy and this is really funny watch this he just runs in front of me i get 90 damage on him his friend over here i run over to his friend and he actually makes a bail for it and starts building so i reload my shotgun i get a turn on this guy try and get the rotation right and get a boom nice shotgun off there now the other guys decided to build there for some reason and for some reason he hasn't built stairs so i just build in straight away push his structure drop down and get a nice little smooth shotgun kill in there that was pretty nice play from me to be fair to be able to kill both of them and now it's on a one-on-one -on -one situation so i've really done pretty well to get to where i am right now and this doesn't usually happen to me very often within fortnite uh, as in like that sort of situation because that was extreme aggressive i don't usually play like that very often i think in this sort of situation i decided to play like that 
and it really did help me out. So I can see the guy building down there, and I really say to myself, you know, that guy's probably possibly going to be easily killed. I've got 26 grenades here on the grenade launcher. Thank God the grenade launch is back, but it's so much better than the snowball launcher. I feel like the grenades definitely fire a lot faster. It feels like it anyway. You don't have to mess around. So I throw a few grenades, just get rid of my grenades in my inventory. Near enough, I leave one for some reason. And I just suppress this guy with grenade launchers. When the grenade launcher's going off, he had nowhere to run, and I basically absolutely battered him with the height and with my metal stairs. So there's a nice little win from me. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. I hope this guy gives you the advice where to land on Fortnite within the new west side of the map. Definitely worth a try. Try it out. Tell me how it works for you guys. And once again, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And this is Postbox Pat, signing out.